Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I am Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online. Today we are back as the yellow player, General Chance. We're going to be playing Europe Advanced Fixed Capitals. Now, <clears throat> these are the settings I've already been releasing, showing you. I've been calling them the Pete Secret Settings, and right now, to me, they are the Pete Secret Settings because they haven't released but by the time this one comes out, they'll no longer be secret, so I don't know what to call them. <laughs> We're playing the settings that Pete has been grinding for the entire season, that he's got 40 plus games on coming up, or probably already releasing by the time this has come out. We're going to be playing fixed, true random capitals on Europe Advanced, with alliances on, no portals, no fog, no blizzards, a very standard Europe Advanced, you see everything. Uh, fixed capital game. Neutral AI, so if people bought out, it flags them and their, ends their career. I have a good cap in Venice, and I can probably try to section off the bottom section of the map again, which I have been doing in the past. Venice would allow me, theoretically, to go for Italy on the first turn, and maybe even Daenerys Alps. I think I'm going to play around for that. Uh, I will accept alliances immediately. Uh, Black was here. Interesting. I was hoping he'd go up here. I kind of want people to be capping far from me, going for things I'm not close to. I don't know what pink is signaling. Uh, red is a Spanish player. I need to keep that in mind. Probably going to have to fight them at some point. Red's giving me a thumbs up. Okay, I don't know what that means, but I am going to go in the middle of the board. Green goes here, black's here. Nobody's gone for noob corner. Red and blue have to go. So blue probably caps in noob corner. Red probably caps in Russia. I think my best cap is... Red may cap in the middle of here. I'm going to cap in Vienna because I think I can take these bonuses. I'm going to try to take Italy on the first turn and then play from that. Right? I can hit this bottom of Italy top and bring this three to my capital with some guards. Hopefully we get some good stuff. So blue did go up here as expected. Red went where? To oh, baby. This entire lower section, no caps in it. Now pink's also going to be fighting, but blue's going to come out of here and be bordering pink. Black and green are going to potentially have beef here. Red's going to be going for Russia and then expanding. Everybody looks like they're probably going to be butting heads. And my cap is going to be like a blocking point. Now. <clears throat> going to offer green an alliance. I'm going to offer black an alliance. I will wait and offer blue an alliance after. Pink's going to do what? Take his France or try? It's true random, so dice like that happens. I don't think he... Ex oh, does he go all the way? Maybe, because the three can come to the cap. Yeah. he. Do you don't hit off the cap, though. Oh, this is so... Um... I'm going to get a lot of troops in the first. He breaks black immediately. No, he just starts slamming red stacks out of the behind him. Let's black hold. That's a three cap. In balance blitz, I would probably take that. But I'm not going to. So I'm going to go here with a like a five. And an eight. I'm going to give pink a heart. I'm going to try to hit this and win. Okay. And then I'm going to hit this. And win. Perfect dice on both. I'm very happy with that. And I can bring this three back to my capital. Make a seven. Black's going to get ten troops probably on his turn. He can make a fifteen. I don't think he's going to roll me. We're also allies. I'm going to send blue an alliance also. Right now. Jam Jamaica. Weird spelling of Jamaica. Okay, <clears throat> so our opponents, we've got Barrett Macaulay from Canada, General Tornado from France, Oren Fujimori from United Kingdom, Red is General Agate from Spain, and then Blue is Jamaica from Unspecified Location. I don't hate my first turn. Uh, does somebody go for this cap? Nope, Blue's not going for it. Black may go for it. Black's going to get 10 troops on the first turn. He could 11v3 for Pink's cap. Pink may bot immediately if he does. I kind of want to see the drama, but I also don't want to see Pink bot immediately and give Black all of this for free. Looks like Black's not. 
So Pink gets to hold this, and I showed good allegiance. Pink played super aggro, and his game should be over, but nobody's punishing him. So that's okay. <laughs> going to hold Italy. I'm going to start working on this bonus in the bottom. Pink's probably going to look at Spain next. Yeah, can I maybe knock out a few of these ones, get some territory? Or actually, Black might even be letting me have Daenerys Alps. I think I go for Daenerys Alps now, right? I leave a three, like I go two, two, leave a three. Like I, I, I start, I go one in Vienna, one in Hungary, uh, a majority on cap, and then I hit Trieste and leave a three there, and then I have a two, two, and a three. Yeah, okay. Okay, Pink's just slamming everything. You, you need to be careful with what you're slamming, bro. You're, a, you're nuts. But I like that he's taking something up here and not going back into Spain. I want him out, out in the front because I want the back. So green's going to start looking at Orient. Does he hit the blue two too? Probably. Not right away. <clears throat> so green's playing very slow. I'm going to go here and here and here and then to my cap. And I think I'm going to leave a three right here. Good dice rolls. And I'm going to be friendly. I put this on my cap. I'm safe on my cap, right? I think I'm already safe, but I'm going to go to cap anyways. Just very slow expanse. If people hit me, it's it could be costly hitting a two or a three. But I'm also not threatening anybody. And I'm just trying to slowly build up and get strong. <laughs> right? We've already talked through these settings and how they play. Alliances are key. Building slowly and not having early enemies is key. I mean, that last game we just played, we kind of had a bit of an enemy right away. That was crazy. If you didn't see the last game on these settings, holy moly, you should. <laughs> Whatever. Ridiculous game. And uh, yeah, so it's kind of like classic fixed mixed with Europe Advanced Capitals, which makes me love these settings so much. And I'm so glad that I'm playing a bunch of these before they start releasing and a bunch of masters and grandmasters come in and then min-max and join these lobbies and then just sit there and do nothing forever. I really like the games where we can fight because I'm not too fussed about what the ranking is or what my rank is. I just want to win the game. So, and I also want to progress and have an interesting and fun game. So if I lose a game, but I'm being, it's fun and interesting. I'm happy with that. Black's on 42. Doesn't have a second bonus. I'm just very slowly expanding, right? Trying not to make enemies. If pink doesn't break me, green won't. Does he go, he's going to go, oh, he's going to go over and get out here. Four on one. I hope it works. I actually hope it works because I want black to not roll something else. Cool. I'll just give him a thumbs up. No. Fuck. I was going to... Thumbs down. <clears throat> what a loser. He doesn't let me hold the second bonus. Interesting. So maybe I just ignore this bonus and I start working behind me then. Do I just knock him out of here? Yeah, Pink's going to take a second bonus. You want to break that then? Uh, do you let Pink hold? You broke me. Pink is getting away with so much right now. Goes to his cap. I have to buff my cap. Maybe Blue doesn't let him hold that. All right. <clears throat> so I have to play around. Like I, Obviously, we don't full send a guy for that. Uh, trades are coming through very shortly. Black and Pink may have big trades on three. Keep in mind, it's fixed. So on the start of the fourth turn, when everybody's on three cards, they get their troops, but they can also have a big trade on top of that, right? Where if you're playing progressive EU caps, you're like, oh, if someone's going to trade early for a four trade, I'm not too scared of it. But Black getting 10 troops on his turn and then also getting a big trade is very scary. So I'm just going to leave Pink's ones and I'm not going to hit Pink at all. Blue's up here. I kind of want to knock blue out of the bottom. <laughs> I also not. I want to knock out two territories of blacks to knock them under twelve. Oh my god, those dice were horrendous. I lost four troops hitting two ones. It is true random. It works that way. Buff my cap. I don't have a trade on three. I have two cavalry and a do card. Uh, red may blade break blue, which if he does makes me sad because I'd rather he breaks pink. Ah, oh, shit. 
Ooh, I'll tell black to hit pink then. If you're not going to let me hold two, don't let pink hold two. Let me see. Can I get blue to hit pink? Probably it's not good for him. He's going to chill, and then he puts... Okay, black's going to hit pink. Yeah, if black does... Uh, is he going for Spain? Get out of this bonus, please. He is. Okay. A thumbs up and a heart for blue. He's just full sending in here. That's a lot of wasted troops. Also makes this take easier for me. <clears throat> Black's going to break Spain. He gave me a thumbs up. He, he seems to be a guy that doesn't let people hold too much. He didn't let me have a second bonus. If he takes this bonus by hitting my 3-2 and doesn't break Spain. Or, uh, sorry, the German bonus. I'd be very disappointed. The rest goes here and goes into pink, right? Prussia? Presumably you're hitting Prussia, right? Oh, if he takes a card off here, he probably doesn't. Because he, he could fail if he tries two attacks. He should have just went up. Does he do it? Five on one? There it is. We needed that. Does Pink have a big trade on three and runs back into him? Pink gets 11. 15 territories. Black just won't let somebody hold two bonuses, right? So we're going to chill for now. Pink might also take the 11 and just knock Blue out of here. But Blue just put all of his troops into here. So if Pink takes it from him, probably there's a beef. <clears throat> He's going to retake and hold. He does have the big trade. Does he go into Black? Or is he guard? He goes into Black. Good. This is the payback. This is the payback you get for being a bad neighbor. Do you quit? Are you going to hang out? <clears throat> Leave the seven there. I'd love it. I'm not doing anything here. I'm going to take some territories back here again. What's Green do? Green's been very chill. He's got 35 troops despite not holding any bonuses. I lost four troops taking a couple territories here. <laughs> Disgusting. He's very slowly working on Orient. He will get it at some point. Okay. I'm going to make sure I buff my cap a little bit. And I'm knocking red out of down here. Oh my god, my dice are horrendous. I'm losing troops every single roll. I'm just going to pull this three back to my cap. <laughs> I actually have a triple cap trade. Interesting. I might use it. I, I'm glad I knocked the extra colors out down here. It's just me and blue. Blue goes for Spain. I go for this. Blue seems to be friendly neighboring. So I think I can trust him to be a friendly neighbor. Red taking Scandinavia before Russia is interesting, right? Pink holds this bonus. Maybe I should have moved this two out of the way. But black has access to get into pink if he wants. We'll see. He has a trade too. Maybe he can go directly through the seven or through my two into a one. Or through my two into a one into my three. And he could double break pink. <laughs> Blue's going to try to finish Spain with a 7. Uh, the 2 and the 1 might cost him. Give him a thumbs up. Thumbs up on Blue. Yeah, and he and he guards... He, Blue is a good player. Okay. And then he guards here, not threatening anybody. He's being friendly, probably allied with both of these players, and then he's doing this. He has now 3 bonuses. Black can't break. Black also has a big trade. Now on 4. Not, a, not anything I can do, but what, is he going to take Eastern Europe and try to hold that? Or does he come through? Does he break pink, or does he just retake and guard with a bunch of 10s? Yeah, loses all his troops on the rolls. Now he can't even break pink. Well, he can, but like I don't think he's coming off his cap to bring another 10 into it. Yeah, he's going to chill. Pink actually gets to hold all of that now. Does pink send into him again? So pink trades, sends into him, and he stops immediately. Funny. I'm on 44 troops. I have a trade. I'm still only holding Italy. But I will go for Africa next turn. And then I will I will play friendly with blue here, and maybe I'll hit this black one and leave a stack here. So black can't, has a harder time breaking me. Because I don't trust black at all. Pink's now thinking. He just got 15 troops. He's getting very strong. But he is in the middle of the board. 
The reason I love this Vienna cap, or sorry, Vienna, Venice cap. Did I call it Vienna earlier? I might have. But the reason I love the Venice cap is uh, it cuts off the bottom section. If nobody's behind me, I can just work on things behind me. And if anybody in the front wants to fight me, they can. They have to hit my capital. They can break my Italy, but they have to hit my capital. It's like a Gascony cap, almost. Gascony's a bit better. Is pink botting? Now, it's neutral bots, so the bots don't attack. So if he bots, I just hope it doesn't put a troop here. It will. Yeah, yeah. He's got so many troops. Okay, green gets five. If pink bots, this is actually going to be like a big wall of guarding me, which is kind of funny. Green's... This isn't where you put your troops. Yeah, on... How much are you buffing your cap? He's going to take Orient, I think. Yeah, yeah. He's not... He's just buffing it a little bit. He's going to mostly take Orient. Leaves the 12 here, comes around for the reach round. Okay. I take this bottom bonus, and then we're going to chill from there, right? Oh, if he gets bad dice, then he doesn't even finish and keeps him weak. I like him being weak. Three on one. Okay, I'll give him a thumbs up. Right, maintain friendly relations for now. And then he stacks more on the cap because he's a little bit worried about black. Okay. So I'm not going to trade. No, I'm not at risk of dying. Pink is also offline officially. So pink's the only real threat of hitting my cap. Black's going to get like 10. I'm going to do this. That's okay. And then I will do this. Give blue a heart. He sends a heart back. And then I will go over here. <laughs> and then blue and I can be friendly here. Friendly borders. I leave a two. He leaves a one. I think I can make this relationship work with blue. If blue and I are friends, we can expand to the right. He can fight red. red he has to fight red if he gets knocked out of Russia right now. Or he has to fight pink bot, which I don't hate if he starts going into pink bot. Red will take Russia, I think, unless he gets bad dice on these with the 11. It's true, random, it could happen. Okay, blue does get knocked out of over there. So I have a two, pink has a two. I'm hoping he goes into Gascony then. Red goes for Russia. Black's now weak and in the center position and only with one bonus. Maybe he should have been friendly and went for something else. Instead of fighting me, Black could have taken this bottom Africa and had two bonuses for quite a long time. But then he broke me and then he broke pink. I mean, yeah, he broke pink because I signaled, hey, hit pink. But he also was probably going to do that without my encouragement. Imagine pink came back right now just in time to see blue hit him. I'm very content that Blue's leaving a 10 in the, in the middle here. He's going to have 14 on two this, or 16 on two it. Cool. Yep, <clears throat> I'm happy with that. Pink still gets a lot of troops from holding everything. What does Black do? Does he go for this middle bonus now? Attack Blue, Green says. Um, you attack Black. Is he going to try to break me? No. Does Black break him in the back? Black might break him in the back. Dude, Black is such a fighter, dude. He does not like people, man. And I'm very pleased with this. Black and green fighting is good for me. Very good for me. Because I can maybe take the spoils of this, right? I'm the one that takes advantage of the spoils. So can Red. <clears throat> he says thanks. So pink's still not here. It's going to add all over the place. Maybe puts a three here. Yep. I mean, I kind of want to take this bonus, but I don't have to, right? Black might hit me for it. I mean, I actually don't have to guard this or this. I could take this and leave like 10s, and then black probably doesn't break me. Maybe I do that. Maybe that's my play. Green's going to retake and not break. I'm going to get a lot of troops. Did I get an artillery? I didn't. We've got double dudes, triple cavalry. Full house of bad cards. Surprise, surprise! Oh, yeah. All 
I love my relationship with Blue. He's on 62 troops. I'm going to get a bunch now, but then he's going to get a bunch. So we're both going to get very strong. So is Red, actually. I'm on 69. Let's go. But we also trade the cavalry. <laughs> okay. Pick an 11 there. He says attack black, and I'm going to do this. I'm going to hit that three, and then split. Oh, bad dice. And I bring this back to my capital. I don't think black's going to hit my eight stacks. I'm going to give black a thumbs up. Now I get the artillery. <clears throat> black only gets 10 troops if he has 12 territories. He only gets nine if red hits a territory off of him. So, if he only gets 9, it's hard to get through the 11. 10, still hard to get through the 11. I don't think he's going to swing at me. I think he's going into green. If he has a trade and hits me, so be it. Like, it doesn't really matter that much. <laughs> so, I just started, by the way, with 18 troops. I lost 6 on that roll. But I start with 18. What does blue start with? I should probably pay attention. 15. So, I was already getting 3 more than blue. And I just took another plus 4. Blue might not like that. He knocks green out of there, but not a black territory. So black is still going to get 10 on his turn. Not counting a trade. So 11 v 5. Or 11, 10 v 11. I think he goes this way. Okay, I like that he buffs the middle, but nothing else. I like how blue's playing. Buffs back, not threatening. Right, he's leaving most of his troops stacked in, black, in the back. <clears throat> So it's also like, it's not necessarily strategically good to have all your troops trapped, but it's very friendly towards me, which is going to let me and blue get very strong. Which is very smart, because if blue and I get strong, while black and green fight, it's going to be an interesting endgame. Blue and I also, if black and green get too feisty, maybe blue and I can fight red. Maybe blue and red team on me, right? That's the fun of this game, is like I might get third place just by them teaming on me. Yep, he goes into green. I'm not surprised at all. Pink is now officially MIA. Pink has got sixth place. So Pink botted, and after 10 minutes of being out, they auto flag. Now they are sixth place. You still get their one card if you kill them. You can still take their capital. This is still a 13 capital, though. These stacks still exist. It just shows Pink is an inactive player, and he's gone. That's what neutral AI does. I think Blue's going to at some point take this capital. If I don't. And I think I want him to have that capital more than I want to have it. If I'm being honest. Right? Because I, I want to be friendly with blue. And I want him to expand out this way towards red. Black and green have their own problems going on. I get 22 this turn. So I'm going to go... 1, 2. I could kill black's capital, but I'm not going to. And I will make this uh, 16. And I buff my capital. I think a, th like a 30 cap is fine. Black's mad? I'm not, uh, I'm not hitting you, bro. And I stop. And I stop. I have triple dudes in an artillery. They want me to hit people, but I'm on 91 troops. Blue's about to jump to almost 100, right? Like, perfectly fine. And Blue, as much as Blue's getting a little less than me, he's also taking cards by hitting chunks of the bot. At some point, he hits the 13 cap in true random. <clears throat> So uh, maybe I even give blue cards here if, if he asks for it. And we'll just trade here instead of me coming any further. Red's actually also going to hit pink. Pink is no longer getting troops, by the way. When it flags like this, its turn gets skipped. It no longer takes troops and deploys them. But for that 10 minutes until it flags, it does get its troops and just randomly deploys them. Or evenly deploys them, whatever it is. For those turns, but now that he's flagged, <clears throat> Pink's turn just gets skipped. They don't add more troops. These are just frozen troops until people kill them all. Yeah, if he hits this three, maybe I'll start trading with him. Or maybe I will anyways, right? I don't really... I could actually hit the one here. I, I kind of want blue to be forced to hit all the pink, right? But, like, maybe I can show Blue good faith. Like, I hit the three, and then he's less likely to just ramdingle me. Because maybe he thinks I'm going to trap him. I'm not planning on it. Black has a trade on four or no? Makes a four. 
Weird guards. Uh, Green's dying. And he's Green's not happy at me because I'm not helping him with black, but why would I help you with black? Like, it's benefiting me to just get strong right now, right? My goal in this game is to try to play to get into a strong position and then look for opportunities to advance my position. Right now, I'm in a spot where I don't need to advance my position. I'm, I'm in the best position getting the most troops. And I'm also not, like, green, red, black border. My only real border is blue and black, but black's not going to hit me because he's fighting already, and blue's being friendly. So, like, I, everything is going my way right now. We have a dude trade, which I'm not using. We're going to start with how many troops again? 23, 25, 22. Okay. I'm going to show friendliness to, uh, to this guy. I'm going to hit this three. Back off. And then I'll give blue a thumbs up. And give blue a thumbs up. And I lost zero troops on that. I'm giving blue cards here now without him having to hit the capital or red. I'm being very friendly to blue, right? Because once he gets here, he has to either break me, break me, break red, or hit the pink cap. Right? So me giving, me showing him I'm going to give him cards here is alleviating his problems and stress before he reaches it. Because what if he hits that three? Then he doesn't know where his next card is. So he might be going into this turn like, oh, this is my last card. Maybe I should start a fight with yellow. He's getting too strong. I, ha I have to get cards off yellow now. But now I'm showing him, no, I'll give you cards here. I don't want anything in the back of his mind turning on towards me. I have 113 troops. He has 108. Did I get a cavalry? I did. Beautiful. And uh, I'll probably use the Certe or the Rabat. Nice. Nice little plus twos. Black gets 10. And if he has 10 in a trade, he's not coming through my 25. Yep. And I trade here with blue. Perfect. Yep. I come no further down here. So I don't open the 19 into me. And I don't need to do anything with these 10s. I leave them. Is he going to hit the green cap? He might. No. Defense. Hits the one down here. Green's mad at me, but like he can't really hurt me. <laughs> That's the cool thing about these settings. Oh, what? Okay, black's actually crazy. This I love. Oh my god! Dude hit a 15 cap with a 25, only killed 7, and then he hit an 8 cap with a 24, and only killed 4. He just lost 50 troops to kill 11. Oh, he's in shambles, dog! <clears throat> oh, green's gonna ram him now. Wow, green's gonna retake his bonus and chill. <clears throat> I hope black doesn't bot. I hope he stays. I hope he stays and continues. I'm gonna take cards here with, with blue. My capture stack is trapped, by the way, so I'm gonna wanna put some more troops on my 25 and then make sure to keep trading with blue. This 19 may move at me sometime. Need to be aware of that. Uh, we have a trade. We can go uh, Certe. Sure, I don't need to do Rabat. I don't want to secretly add a two troops there. I don't want him to feel like I'm moving. I want him to always look at there and look at a two. Look 45. And then blue. Thumbs up. Yep, yeah, you and me, we've got a thing, bro. And I'm with you. I'm with you in this endeavor we have. <clears throat> make my cap 50-something, or I can leave my cap and make this a 50-something. My cap is safe, right? A 45 cap in true random is very safe. Like, blue's biggest stack, is, looking at it, is a 14. Red's got a 20 that's got to go through, like, eight troops to even get there. So, like, red's 17. He can make a 37, trade a 47. Like, there's the 45 cap is so safe. <clears throat> Nobody is hitting that with, like, a 70 or something right now. So that's why I'm leaving more down here. And I'm prepared for these guys to complete the suicide, right? Green actually didn't even break black. Black is full slamming you and you did... Oh my god. I can't believe those dice rolls, dude. True random is disgusting. Look at blue and me getting so strong. I'm 16 troops ahead of him now. Now, keep in mind, I'm probably going to get stuck with a dude trade. But I'm getting considerably more troops. I get, he gets 16. 
for my 22. I get six a turn more than blue. And I'm not expanding any further. And what does red get? 17. So red's getting one more than blue, five less than me. So me, red, and blue, you can see we're going to be the last three alive, obviously. And then going into the three-player endgame, I have already shown a very good willingness to work with blue. And that's on purpose, partially why I'm like, there's a lot of reasons why I'm trading with him here. And I want this. <clears throat> because when black and green ultimately go down, I want an ally in blue. If blue and I turn on red, that's the best, that's the best case scenario. Keep in mind, I'm three-point guard on the, on the whole bottom of the map, right? Like, Venice, Rabat, and then, like, Benghazi is, like, a three-point on my section. Obviously, I've only got the one cap. But, like, I'm, I, I don't have to guard, like, a wall of, like, I'm not, like, seven-point entry, like, red or something. Blue is also going to be very secure once he hits this pink capital. I think he's going to do it very shortly. Okay, Black actually bought it now. So he did suicide out, and that was like a rage quit. He closed, he either alt out forward the game, or or uh, he uh, closed the tab on his phone, right? One of the two, whether whatever device he was on. So black's no longer going to slow green down, but green is so far behind. I'm going to keep trading with blue. And blue is going to come out and leave a big stack on this capital, right? So I need to uh, start buffing my capital more, which is fine. Black is now a bot, so I can actually bring this 10 up. Let's do this for now. Run zero aggression towards blue, and I'm working with him. We have double dude, double artillery. Can we get a cavalry again? <sighs> Crazy three-player game coming up. These settings are exciting, right? So, like, we're, we're getting... The early game is crazy, the mid game gets crazy, and then the end game is like all strategy and, and like three player um, alliances and manipulation. And that, I'm excited to play that in this game. Because I think I've got a good build of a relationship with Blue. Like he can take this cap at some point, like right now maybe. And then I'll start taking cards somewhere else. I think he's going to do it. No, not yet. When he does, I will just thumbs up him though. And then he will be stacked on this cap, which is also going to be pointing at red, right? Like this pink, the pink's probably going to get killed at some point, right? Not that his card's worth anything, but very, very likely blue is going to be mostly just pointing at red then. I mean, he's, he's, yes, he's looking at me down here, but I don't, I don't think he's seeing that as an option to fight because we have, like as much as him and red have been doing stuff here, I think we have a better relationship. I want to be his favorite. And you can see it, right? It just skips Pink's turn. Black is still placing its troops automatically, but then it skips Pink's turn. <laughs> Green's going to end up getting card block soon because I'm not backing this 56 off. Make it a 69. Funsies. Back here. All right, it is a dude trade. We called it, right? We, but we get the Melila plus two, which is uh, right here. Cool. Green gets one more easy card, and then he's got to hit something else if he wants a card, right? Like a black 11. Red's going to start cleaning out black. Does Red actually take this cap soon? Red's really strong too. Like when green, like when green and black go down, Red is going to have a sweeping side of the board. He can kind of sneak in behind me over here. And maybe blue going into him, red's going to be able to come into my back. I don't. That's why I'm leaving a big stack here, though. Okay, he's hitting the cap. He's hitting the cap now, for sure. I'll give him the thumbs up. I hope he gets terrible dice. Lose 40. I think he's rolling it. It looks... I, I'm getting the vibes. Yeah, 28. Give him a thumbs up. Give him a thumbs up. He gets a cap and another plus four. So he gets six more a turn. That's going to even him out with me. No, no, I'll just give you a thumbs up. You're good. <coughs> thumbs up. I want him to feel good about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He backs off of here so we can trade, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let him hold. I want to show him all of the good faith. It is my best play. 
And then he's going to have to start hitting the rest of the pink. But he is going to start coming out in here. I'm going to hit this black two for a card, I think. Unless red... Well, red's going to go for Eastern Europe, maybe. Red's working on Eastern Europe, and that's going to be a bit more of a, a bunch of troops. <clears throat> Green hits this four and backs off. If he hits the four and backs off, I'm going to just move the stack here and keep it here, right? Uh, he skips. <clears throat> okay. So I've got a dude trade. Not that the dude trade matters. So the 48 is looking at my cap, and he does get a lot of troops. I'll go 75. Eighty. I'll bring this up. Something like this. There's five on that. And I bring this up here. So that's why I've, I'm, I'm safe with this bonus, because kind of the pink nine and then the, the, the bot 12 cap are kind of guarding a wall with me. So I don't need stacks here. And I give blue a thumbs up. I let him hold that. He thought I was going to keep trading cards with him here, but I'm letting him hold that. I want to show him good faith. Long term, I think I can communicate with blue to fight red. And I am still the strongest person in the game right now. Green is hanging around, though. Hanging around in a, in a fixed game can get you something. Right? Green climbs up slowly to 100 troops. We're at 300, and then two of us fight to the death. He's still on 100 troops. He's in the game. Right? As long as he's hanging out in the game, he's uh, he's not going anywhere. <clears throat> so Barrett McCauley goes down. Oren Fujimori from United Kingdom still here. General Tornado from France. He's gone. Spanish player is red. So I want a team on the, the I want a team on the Spanish player with the Jamaica person. Okay. He hit this pink three, I would have uh, traded with him here. He wants to keep his 48 open, I guess. So the most, the best way is clean out these back cards. He might start trading with red in here. Yeah, black adds one to every territory. Green's card choices now are a black 13, a red 10, or my 74. I wouldn't mind taking this bonus, but I I don't know if he's going to back off or not. If he backs off, do I take the bonus? Does he hit red? Oh! Now, I love that. Oh, I love that. Does he stay there with the 16? Because that would be great. Red might not even be able to get back in. Okay. Now... I'm going to make this an 80. I'm going to hit the pink three. Okay, not bad. And I'm going to come back. I have a lot of off-cap troops. So I could take a lot of damage at some point. But I'm going to go to this. Okay, black, black's officially flagged. Now black is locked in fifth place. Same as pink, you can see MIA, right? So now we're in the top four. Obviously, green's in the weakest position. But he just put a little bit of a dent into red, which I'm really happy. Red probably doesn't get through here unless you got a trade on three. Red's got to hit some bot troops. Loses six on a black five. Takes his bonus now. Hmm. Attack red, thumbs up. Can we? Attack red. Thumbs up. I mean, if he hits red, I'll hit red. I have a 45 in red's face. I'm with you. We'll see if he wants to. I don't think he will. He would need to pop this 7. It opens the 20 to come back. Like, I would pop in here, though. I would pop in here. No, he's playing more defensive. Okay. He's not ready. Just because he won't work with me right now doesn't mean he never will. I wonder if green comes around and breaks this too. 
I'm not going to take that as a betrayal. I'll, I'll still send him a heart. That's fine. I could also obviously still hit red here and without worry. You you don't want to hit that 80. I also might take some damage on green at some point and drop to these guys level, right? So I don't think he breaks this. Does red come down and take this capital? Do I take this capital actually? Maybe I do. The 13 cap. I could take that cap. I think I, I think I take it. I think I take it. I think it's advantageous enough. Forty? I think that's fine. Take an 80 cap. 80 cap, 40 cap. I'm just slowly expanding. Blue didn't want to hit red, so I'm going to take the cap. I actually wasn't even looking at it as an opportunity for a while, because I, I don't want to lose a bunch of troops hitting it. Red hits the 5 and gets great dice. Hits the 13 and goes even. Okay. He takes 3 cards, but he lost 13 troops. He killed 18 troops in true random to get 3 cards and get this trade. Probably a big one. He's got 7 cards. Seven cards and he gets the dude trade? That is my luck, bro. <laughs> so he's defending now. He's also going to run into green. Does he break green or chill? I'm 50 troops up on red. Green's sad now. <laughs> I mean, he's got a card here. I do want to work with blue. Red holds a lot now. He's going to catch up real fast. He's guarding... So many troops inside of himself, right? This 5, this 26, this 22, this. If there's a moment where I can get some opportunistic smashing done. Oh, I would be able to like block blue off from most of the board. He does hit the pink 4. Loses 7. I will go back to trading with him here. And I think red and green are going to trade in here. My cab is trapped too, so like it's not like I don't have troops also trapped. Green made it to 100 troops. It's gonna take cards now from here. This 44 needs to back off. It's a big mistake. Make this a 90. Put a 100 in his face. <laughs> I'm not giving you this. You're not going this way at all. Red's got a lot of troops this turn. He starts with 28. I'm starting with 25. Okay, it's okay. That's not that bad. We aren't fixed, and I've got a big lead. Red's going to start putting a lot of troops inside of himself as well. Interesting. You see, I have like twos and threes inside of me, other than my 90 cap, which has to be inside of me. I don't have, like, wasted 20 stacks guarding weird stuff. A four. Does he go back? He's going to trade with green here. Green could come through and break me. I would not recommend it. <clears throat> Blue can trade with me here. Like, that's, a, that's what I was saying, though. Like, I'm kind of in a situation where I might lose a bunch of troops fighting green, which might bring me down to their level, right? So, something to watch for. This lead I have can easily shrink, <clears throat> especially if I just randomly decide to kill green. He has 99, I have 100 right here. I'm going to get 25 on my turn unless he breaks a bunch of stuff. And even if he does, does he get smoked on the 5, the 4, and the 3? Or does he go into red again? Does he guard from red? He's just guarding, that's defense. He would have put everything here if he was swinging. Okay. Status quo was okay for now. Blue is getting 23, red gets 28, and I get 25. Status quo is okay, unless green slams me. Because the more we status quo, the bigger green will get before he slams me. It's going to hit my 5. Okay. 
Maybe I just take his cat? <clears throat> hmm. Puts that in my face? Backs that off now? Yeah, you should back it off. Cool. Hmm. I'm chilling. I took a little bit of damage. As expected. Red hit so 27 with the trade. What did I actually take from it? I lost... He lost 8. I lost 5. Plus a plus... I lost 9 troops out of that. But plus I had to retake and lost a troop. So... I lost like 10 troops. Not a big hit. Now I'm also guarding it so he can't do it again. Red may break... It may break me. No. Kills pink for the one card. That's fine. I don't hate... Does he take this bonus is a question. So, can I find a way to get blue to fight red while I kill green? If blue and red go to war and I can kill green, that's a good bonus for me. Obviously, that's not equal enemies, right? Blue's enemy would be much greater than mine. But I would help him. I very much want to work with blue. But I also asked him to hit red and he didn't. Keep in mind, red is Spanish flag. I'm probably going to take a random smash from him at some point. I don't know if I can work with him or not. We'll find out. There's 24 sitting here I like. All right, Green, what do you do? None of your troops are pointed at anything. You can put 13 troops down and try to roll the red 12 for a card, or you can try to roll the 31 for a card. All right? You can either 14 v 12 or 34, uh, 33 for a 31. He's just going to stack inside of himself and skip. And then the 55 comes back out or goes to cap. Goes to capital. Okay. I like that. Our alliance is... Green quit. Okay. Green has quit. That's a flag. He quit the game. So he gets fourth place. Okay. Now what? <laughs> Okay. Now, can I ask blue? Do we hit red? Yes or no? So, ask blue. Hit red. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Like, do we work on red? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Or are you going to work on me? Like, if I ask red, I kind of need to swing first. Does red hit me? Does he hit this 24? Does he take a card and chill? We're in friendly territory. So there's going to be a beef kickoff at some point. I mean, I want to bring this 90 to here. Because then I have a really good hold on the bottom. <laughs> he's not hitting red. He's going to trade. If he, hit the 20, if he hits the 23 and goes in, I would follow him. But he's, I have a 90, right? I would follow him. Literally follow him. You guys have been watching me play these settings. That's how I roll. I get 29. Do get a big trade. I will make this a 60. Make this a 50. Now we'll go up. Now bring this here and do two sixes. Okay. Red gets 28, I got 29. <laughs> Green botting is interesting, because now I have... Oh, man. Does this collide with me or him? Or do they just trade cards? He could go through my 6. The problem is, like, if red wants to damage me, he's kind of looking at capital, capital. If he wants to damage blue, he's got this stack off cap. And through my 6, he can go through and do a lot. So red actually has... And he, he looks like he's trying to get this extra bonus. Right, like I very much want to work with somebody on somebody else. Turn order wise, I want to, I want blue to show allegiance to me. 
but he's not going to. They may team on. The problem is if, if I don't team with them, they might team against me. <clears throat> uh, red has a 47, blue has a 60. Should probably make this a 70. And go up one more. Stop. Blue quit! No, blue quit! Right as I passed my turn! Oh no, blue got third place. He literally just quit. That was him going to the lobby and saying, I quit. So rather than work with me two on one to fight red, he quit. Oh my God. So I'm in a 1v1 with red and red gets the attacker's advantage on me. I have the lead, I have a better board position and I don't think he can get through all my stuff. He'd have to go through this green 20 even to think about this 50. <clears throat> I should win just based on the position of the board, right? He has 28 troops, but he can't break me. Good game. It's literally a 1v1 because these guys flagged. This is this is how you solve for bots, right? Neutral AI. Blue bot and green bot would be messing everything up if we didn't play neutral. He can't break all my bonuses, though. He can hit the... Yeah. Go ahead. Hit my sixes and stuff. That's not a big deal. I wish I saw that flag... I literally wish I saw that flag. That's funny. Okay. Red gets full on ram dangled though. Like fully ram dangled right now. Fifteen's enough. Yep. Can I get good dice on this? That'll do. Bring this 50 to this cap. So troop-wise, now I've got 213 to his 148, and I broke his shit. He can come through blue here if he wants. But for him to get into me, he opens my capitals, right? And I just trade and come off capital and slam. Whatever he's got off cap, like, we will win this game. We're about to be 4-0 and zero on these settings. Red recognized immediately once blue. Like, it's disappointing, because I put a lot of work into trying to have a good relationship with blue, so we could 2-on-1 red in the endgame. And when the moment came to do it, he didn't have the stones to actually fight. All he wanted to do was sit here, passive, chill. The second it was time to fight, he, he quit. And maybe something came up in his life or something that, but like, I was signaling him, let's fight red. And he ignored that for a few turns and then he quit. So I think, if I'm being honest, I just think he didn't have the gutsos to do anything, right? And that's unfortunate because that would have been a really epic two on one finish. But uh, we didn't get it. <clears throat> Definitely a little sad about it. Okay, that 31 is trapped, that's cool. So I'm going to take Russia. No, I'm not going to take Russia. He has maybe a trade. I don't know. We'll go nine here. Wait, I don't I don't have to. Oh, yeah, I'll go nine here. And then what? Do this. We'll like block him. And then hit him with a full reacher. Let's do it. Okay, we cleaned him out completely. Unless I lose on this 19 with a 50 something, which I didn't. So the question is, does red have a trade? On three. And if he does, what does he actually do with it? Very little. Oh, there it is. He does have the trade. <clears throat> does he go through the 11 or the nine? Whatever he does, I can undo. Do I have a trade on three? No, but not needed. Loses 13 on the night. Where's this five even going? Good luck. <laughs> we got you. Woo! These settings are so good, man. I hope you guys are enjoying them. I mean, at the date of recording, I'll literally just tell you it's February 12th right now. This video is probably like literally a month from now. 
uh, at the time of recording. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying this series because uh, I'm enjoying playing it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, okay. If you want it, we'll just ram dingo you this way. Yeah, we'll do something like this. Yeah. There. 10 10. What are you going to do with. Oh, eight troops? You're going to roll 9 be 10? Oh, little boy. What are you going to do? You're going to go into blue? That's right. Blake, break blue's bonuses. That dude, all game, just wanted to chill in the noob corner and get a free win. He didn't want to fight, didn't have any guts. Was a little disappointed in him, if I'm being honest. All right, we're gonna buff these. Oh yeah, it's the moment. The moment you've all been waiting for. Stack it in his face with a wild card. Good game. Good game, that was good. I'm glad green quit rather than suiciding. And this is the thing with neutral bots. If this was an automated bot and green quit, his bot would have came out. It would have stacked on me. It would have rolled me. It would have surrounded my capital. I would have got messed up by it. Blue botting. I had a good relationship. I put so much effort into this alliance with blue. If blue botted in an automated game, his bot would have came out. It would have broke all my bonuses, surrounded me. I would have been surrounded by green, surrounded by blue, surrounded by black. All of these people would have just been in my shit messing me up while Red would have been up here holding, right? With his multi-guards and stuff. So, fortunately, the... And also, it would have taken a lot longer. How do you play fixed capitals with bots just having massive amounts of troops and you don't want to waste your troops on the bot because you want to fight the human players? So this is such a good setting to have neutral AI here. It solves the problem. And of course, this guy quits the slowest way possible rather than just like letting the game end naturally. <clears throat> it is what it is. It is what it is. Like, I care. I'm gonna beat him. Like this. What is- Oh my god. Boom! No way! No way! Well, I might as well guard Finland. I want to hold my bonus, right? As if! <laughs> as if! We didn't get it. Come on, man. Watch how fast it skips blue and green's turns. Boom. My turn. That's right. All right. All right, six cap. Can what do we do with one dice at a time? Okay, one dice in true random is very bad in capitals. Balance Blitz does way better than this. All right, whatever. We're just going to end the game. <laughs> and then we get a perfect roll. Close it. General chance, 17,008. Nice, solid, just under an hour game. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I had a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying these settings. I really hope they're still playable once these videos start releasing and you guys recognize them. Maybe this can be a new meta. You guys try them out and, uh, like, because, like, classic fix. You get to the end game and it does require alliances to try to finagle the win, right? This map is amazing. Everybody loves this map. It's the meta for a reason. So it's like, Bringing that psychological aspect of Classic Fixed into Europe Advanced and using the alliances in the endgame. Sure, it can stalemate. So can Classic Fixed. But you use alliances, and if you're man enough to fight, it could be a lot of fun. So, And the people that quit don't ruin the game because it flags them. Let's go. I had a lot of fun. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys in the next video.